Meteorologist Jacob Durham. Well, good Friday morning coming up on 516 and we're still dealing with some patchy, dense fog out there. We just talked about the visibilities, but we're also got those showers and storms now moving into portions of Cumberland, Fentress and Wayne County there in southeastern Kentucky, and that's what we're going to be looking at for much of the day are those scattered downpours. Even a few storms, there are some lightning with these, thankfully well below severe limits at the moment, but we'll continue to track that in case it changes. And we're still looking at a 50-50 weekend as well. Saturday, pretty dry. It's going to be warm. Sunday, a little cooler, but also some scattered showers at times. We'll track it out for you in just a moment. Sunrise, though, 647 on your Friday morning, 56 degrees for the kids heading off to the bus stop. And yeah, go ahead and pack that rain gear with you. We've got those scattered showers moving in probably right around that commute, especially for areas that are back to the west. Now, here's how things kind of shape up for us as we head closer to 7 o'clock this morning. Notice the widespread showers and even a few storms in there, mainly across the plateau. It becomes a little bit more spotty to scattered into the valley. That changes as we head through the mid to late morning. That line slowly pushes off towards the east, and that will give us those heavier downpours through the valley through mid to late morning. So grabbing a bite to eat for lunch, probably going to be a little bit unsettled, and that lasts all the way into the early afternoon. There goes those showers and storms off to the east, though, by 5 o'clock. So that evening commute, maybe looking to get off a little bit early on this Friday. Hopefully you can dodge some of those showers. And then we'll see maybe an additional line pushing through closer to say 7, 8 o'clock. But at least it's warmer today. Of course, we're on that warming trend temporarily. 73 in Knoxville to 74 Kingston. 75 Loudon to Madisonville. 74 in Teleco Plains. Back in the mid to upper 60s plateau. 66 Jamestown to 65 Crossville. 70 in Rockwood. 68 Williamsburg to 67 Monticello. 68 Middlesbrough. There's your scattered showers and downpours by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 72 Newport to Dandridge to Starberry. Plain 73 in Pigeon Forge. In terms of rain totals, most of us see pretty light amounts, anywhere between a tenth to maybe a quarter inch at best, but we have some of those blue shadings and pockets of that indicating a half inch to maybe as much as an inch as some of those storms begin to train. And what I mean by that is they just move over the same location over and over. Balls taking on Mississippi State once again tonight. First pitch 630 there at Lindsey Nelson. 69 degrees should be mostly dry. 64 by 9 o'clock. Can't rule out a stray shower. Of course, sunset not until almost 818 this evening. Future cast for your Saturday morning. Yeah, we're going to start off with some areas of patchy fog once again. Then we'll see mostly sunny skies through the early afternoon. Best chance of rain, at least during the day tomorrow, would be off to the north and west. Southeastern Kentucky might be a little cloudier, a little cooler as well, but the rain does move back in Saturday night into your Sunday. 67 degrees is that temperature. Look at Monday, though, into Tuesday. Drier weather. Yes, it's going to be back below average in the mid 60s, but we'll at least take more sunshine and then slowly warming up by late next week. But just make sure to have the WVLT first alert weather app and that rain gear handy with you as we track those scattered downpours today.